This episode of the Mongrel Pirate Academy is going to cover how to do piracy in 318 using our piracy framework to build up our methodology. To get the most out of this video, it is highly advised that you watch our 318 patch info dump and our piracy framework videos so that you understand why we're making the recommendations that we're making. During 2022, we saw a significant increase in combat logging with players intentionally exploiting crash recovery mechanics to cause their ship to disappear and allow them to recover with their cargo intact. CIG has slowly been working on fixes for this, with Alt F4 resulting in players' ships persisting, dependent on server health for long enough for it to slow down to a speed where we could board it in EVA. Once this was becoming more common, players switched to using bed logging to cause their ship to instantly disappear. You know, I understand the want for realism oh, in this game for certain things. Ah, oh, oh, damn. Shit. Wait, what? 318 is the first patch where logging out through the bed in combat is no longer possible and persistent entity streaming means that their ships will persist long enough for us to board once it slows down to EVA speeds. The most likely course of action is that early on in this patch players will attempt their combat logging methods when they realize that that doesn't work, we will see more players initiating self-destruction to deny as much of their cargo to player pilots using the mentality that if they can't win, they'll make sure that we lose. Fortunately, we will still be able to recover cargo from the wreckage, as well as salvage the wreck itself. What we hope to see is an increase of players banding together to use convoy tactics and group contracts to hire players to provide security for them. This is the most likely course of action for active organizations with solo players trying their luck on their own. With these considerations in mind, we recommend that pirates disregard the use of distortion weapons to disable targets until the next pass CIG makes on them. This is because the counter to pirates using distortion damage is the following. Maximum capacitor power to shields. Accelerate the ship to maximum speed. Initiate self-destruct. And Alt F4 from the server. What this results in is the target ship self-destructing on the move with its cargo being strewn out over tens of kilometers due to the high speed, making it extremely difficult to track down the wreckage and cargo that survived the explosion. This means that we recommend putting ships into the soft death state, but this will also result in the members of your team ending up with criminal charges against them if they perform the hit within Comare range. Therefore, it is recommended that you switch off the comma rays prior to hitting the targets, and the closer to the time that you strike, the less likely the target is going to get antsy and switch servers. Now let's talk about how all of this relates to the four methods of piracy, starting with extortion. Extortion is best against miners and cargo haulers moving commodities that you cannot sell at any NQA terminals. The equipment that you need to perform extortion is a QED, distortion weapons, and highly destructive lethal weapons. And the methods for extortion have not changed, where you simply just find the target, you prevent them from entering quantum travel, and then you make your demands. Now, if you do this against cargo haulers that are moving commodities that you can sell at NQA terminals, then it's possible that you will get a much greater payout if the pilot of the target ship decides to Alt F4. Now let's move on to Ransom. Ransom is best used against cargo haulers moving commodities that you cannot sell at NQA terminals, and this can also be used against regular commodity haulers as well. Now, the equipment that you need is the same as extortion, although for this, you will need a boarding team. And the method for ransom has not changed either. You just find the target, prevent quantum travel, 
disable the ship using distortion damage, wait until the target is below EVA speeds, breach, board, and seize the ship from the owner, and then make your demands. If they comply, you deliver the ship to the target, and if they don't, you move the ship out to dead space, transfer the cargo to your own ship, salvage the ship, and then move everything to sell at the NQA terminals. You can certainly put the ship into a soft death state, but keep in mind, it's going to be a lot harder to try and convince the target of the authenticity of your ransom demand. If you soft kill the ship and then they somehow manage to comply with your demands, you'll have to add them to the party so they can jump to their own ship and then do what they will with it. But if they don't comply, you won't be able to move the ship anywhere and you'll just be forced to do your logistical part of the piracy hit right there where it happened. Now we're going to move on to looting. Looting is best against cargo haulers moving commodities that you can sell at NQA terminals, and this also applies to rock miners. The equipment that you need to do this is a QED, you need highly destructive lethal weapons, you need a salvaging ship, you need a cargo hauler, and you need a boarding team. The methods of looting have also not changed that much, and it's very similar to the rest of the methods. Where you find the target, you prevent quantum travel, you disable the ship by soft death using careful, measured, lethal weapons. Once the ship comes to a stop, you breach, board, and seize the ship, kill the entire crew, transfer the cargo to your own ship, salvage the ship, and then move everything to sell at the NQA terminals. Hunting rock miners follows pretty much the same principle where you find the target, you lock it down with a QED, you disable the ship, dispose of the rock miner, transfer the gems into your inventory, salvage the ship, the rock, and then move everything to sell at the commodity terminals. Moving on to the last method, scooping, which is by far the easiest and simplest to explain. Now with persistent entity streaming and salvaging coming in 318, scooping works on everybody. The equipment that you need remains the same for all of the other methods, and all you need to do is just find the target, destroy the target outright, transfer any of the surviving cargo that they have around their ship, salvage the wreck, and then move to sell all of it at the NQA terminals. When it comes to what we call claim jumping and hitting prospectors while they're out mining, all you need is highly destructive lethal weapons and a mining ship. When you find them as they're mining, you pop the target, destroy them, scoop up any of the remaining ore that they were mining, salvage the wreck, and then move to the refinery to sell or refine the ore that you've collected from them. So, in this video we've outlined how to pirate using all of the different methods that you can use within the limitations of the 318 patch and the tactical considerations that you need to make in order to be successful. So. We'd like to thank you for watching, and we'll catch you out there in the verse.